start of a new vlog. It is the 25th. It's 5.45 in the morning. I have been working for five hours and I've gotten most of my to-do list done. Um, I'm just working off a couple of things here. I've caught up on Instagram. I did cardio. My thighs hurt. <laughs> um, and while I was doing cardio, I got to 83% into Forever Bound. Thank God that book is almost done. Dear God. Like, it's not even like, it's not the the sexual tension or anything like that, like, what, I, I guess, would be a normal, like, oh my god moment, I don't, I don't know, but it's just, the book is so freaking slow, I am tired of it, I'm tired, I'm tired, damn and tired, so anyways, I'm gonna finish that one up, and, um, I'm going to start my computer read, which is Forget Me Not, um, do 30 minutes of that. I have some editing to do for next week's, this week, last week, I don't know, vlog for videos, uh, including a vlog and stuff like that, and my TBR, which I did, and this. I, I, I gotta take care of that. So this weekend, I'm hoping that everything kind of stays quiet and everything, um, so that way I can work on this, because this is bad. This, this is, this is bad. This is really bad. <sighs> And yeah, that is where we're at right now. So I will update y'all in a little bit. Um, I'm going to try to get a couple more things done. We've got a vet appointment at 10 a.m. And so like in a couple hours, I got to get the girls ready. But yeah, anyways, update y'all in a little bit. Why do I look like I've been crying? I think it's the light in here. Anyways, hey, bookies. I don't even know if I started this vlog yet or not. So if I did not high. It is Monday the 27th of February. Um, over the past two days, like on, uh, like on Saturday, I read some. I read, um, some more of <sighs> Forever Bound. God, it sucks. It's, it sucks. Um, can't wait to be done with it. I'm like 83% through it. Can't wait to be done. Um, and today I started on Forget Me Not. Um, basically this book is about this girl. Um, who is in the closet and her and her girlfriend are having to hide their relationship and everything and um, they've ha have this big plan they just graduated high school um, so they have this big plan to just like save their money and then move they've not told either of their parents um, they got the apartment and they're celebrating and our main character has a fall and uh, falls into a ravine and ends up getting amnesia so the book is going to deal with because there's like this um this time constraint, um, if, uh, cause when they get the apartment, it's like the 10th of September, it's sometime in like July or August, something like that. So we got like a bit of a time constraint. I think how it's going to go, cause I think I've seen this story before. It's not a bad story. I like that story. Um, but I think in the nick of time, our main character is going to get their memory back and then it's going to be their decision on whether to go or not. Uh, I really hope so because they're cute, but I hope that this doesn't turn into like a, uh, one of those like the love interest is toxic or whatever. I hope it doesn't turn into that. I don't see it doing that, but you know, some bucks. Anyways, so I um, got 83 pages in that today. It was, it's really good. Like I'm like really, really liking it. So, um, and I finished all of my chores. It's like 626 and I have a kind of some stuff to do today. In like 12 hours, obviously, I'm going to go to sleep. But um, within those 12 hours, um, I got to take care of the dogs and I have a hair appointment. I am getting this chopped off. Um, I kind of decided that I wanted to go shorter, like maybe like here. I don't know. Um, and maybe bangs, but it was something that Ethan was like kind of afraid to do. So I got an appointment to get it done at the hair salon slash beauty school. Um, I make my, when I do hair appointments, I make my appointments through the beauty school. One, because it's cheaper, <laughs> but two, also, um, I like helping uh, the students there get some hands-on technique and stuff like that. Um, so why not? They do, they do really good. I went to them for my perm and my god it was it was two girls that tackled my hair because my hair is like it, I, don't, I don't know if it picks up on the camera or not but it is it's a thicken it's it's a thicken um and i wanted a perm <laughs> so i wanted this perm and like 
it was, I think it was this one girl's first time doing a perm and this other one's like she's done it before. Obviously like first on like a human, not on like a doll head and stuff like that. So like they're doing my hair and like I just kept having to lower my chair because my hair was really long. It was longer than this and I wanted a perm and they're, oh my god I gave them a workout. I was in there for I think four hours. It was it was bad. So I'm taking a backpack with me today. I have supplies. I have all the stuff. But yeah I'm kind of wanting maybe curtain bangs or like just like a couple little wisps here. Um and obviously I want it shorter uh um like I like long hair but like it's really long it's about to be summer it's gonna be hot here and I just you know I just want something that's like a little less hard to manage and also like with shorter hair your curls are more prominent and everything and I just want really curly hair anyways um that is where we're at right now so I am um gonna sit gonna read I might uh film myself I don't know I might do that later. <clears throat> Anyways, that's where we're at right now. So I will catch y'all up in a bit. I came back. This is the new hair. Yeah, I got it cut. Um, in the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, before I went and got my hair cut, I finished Forever Bound Final Fucking Lee. Oh my God, that book. So bad. <sighs> it's like a two star. Um, I might knock it down to one star. I don't know. I, right now it's a two. Um, and I finished uh, Pilar Ramirez book one, so I'm going to start working on book two. And then after that, cause I'm going through this like really quickly, I'm going to work on The House That Whispers. So I will catch y'all up in a bit. It is Thursday. I meant to vlog after the event, but I forgot. And then Wednesday, I was peopled out. Like, I had went and got my hair cut Monday, and then I went and saw people Tuesday, and I'm like, I need to not see anyone. So, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, so, there's that. Um, I just got done with the weekly mail haul, um, and, and they released the prompts for the March, um, March readathon for the Brave and Con thing that they're doing in collaboration with the Reading Challenge and with um, Shop Shop One Bookworm Shop Bookworm. I'll I'll put everything I'll put everything down below. The first prompt is to join a book club in person or virtually. I'm gonna have to think about that one <laughs> um, because I do not know of a book club right now, and I normally don't do one. I am doing a buddy read. But that's technically not a book club, so I don't know. I might use Fable to join one um, if you have any suggestions. I would gladly appreciate it. Um, I know my friend Nicole is in one, um, but they are doing uh, Honey Girl, and I am not in the mood for Honey Girl. I know that Honey Girl is good, but one, I don't own it, and two, I kind of want something that I already own and or already have on my TBR. Um, and the second prompt, read a book about a person with a disability. So I'm going to go with One for All. Um, I have been needing to read that book for a while and I'm excited. The disability that, I, that is um, in that book is Pot. The main character has Pots, um, which I think is really cool. And it's also a Three Musketeers retelling. So there's that. Um, I also finally, finally went and got my blind date with a book um, from... I chose just Second and Charles because um, they're fairly close to the house. And also, I feel really awkward. Like, I go to these, like, kind of after hours events. And, like, I, I obviously go and I buy the books for the authors that are there that are speaking and everything. But I just, I feel really weird if I just buy something else in the store. And I'm sure that, like, I could. 
I'm sure that's fine, but I don't know if I actually should or not. Um, anyways, so I just, I went over to Second and Charles one day while I was at the post office, and, um, it is I Let the Lost, uh, by Melissa De La Cruz. So I know that was already under the book added to my TBR, but it was gonna have to be anyways. So that's where we are. Um, I'm spending this day getting the house ready, getting some of the weekend chores done because I want to, well, okay. So today I don't, I think I'm just going to take like a series of naps because Friday I'm going to have to go to sleep by at latest eight, um, to wake up somewhere in the afternoon-ish around like three, um, because our plan is to take a bunch of desserts. One of our friends has COVID that is, um, what did I say that we were going to call her from now on? I forget. IT Goddess. There we go. <laughs> I, you're now known as IT Goddess. I'm so sorry. I don't even know if you watch these videos. Do you watch these videos? I feel like you don't. Anyways, IT Goddess um, <laughs> it has a... Uh, uh, con sadly, contacted COVID. Um, and I'm wanting to make her some desserts because... Um, they said that they're fine on food, but you know what really makes you feel better? Chocolate. <laughs> and, um, I'm wanting to also drop off, um, the other batch of brownies that I bought, um, for artistic friend, uh, who makes comics. I don't know if y'all want me to promote y'all in these. They both have channels. They both have channels that, like... They have followers and stuff like that, and they have their own niche content. I am books. One is art, and they do like um, they they do like this series with Pathfinder and stuff like that. It's really cool. It's like kind of comic book like. Um, and the other one um, is a is a coding streamer who does like coding games and coding stuff and lots of stuff with Get GitHub and you know coding challenges and everything. I, but I don't know if they ever want me to promote them. I don't know. It's like, I could promote them, but I don't ask, because that's kind of awkward. I don't know. I don't even know if they watch these. Anyways, this might be just entirely a mute point. But anyways, chocolate makes the heart grow fonder, and chocolate heals everything. So, chocolate. Um, obviously, our crush date, date also moved. Oops. Um... Also, I don't even know if I've told them I've cut my hair. Surprise! <laughs> I'm an awful friend. Anyways, um, so hope I'm 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 wanting to do that. So I'm gonna leave the house around three because um, their houses are a bit of a drive, and then I am going down to Decatur again at Friday. This time to Little Shop, and I'll be sure to film for this vlog too. Um, the event is She Is a Haunting. Um, very excited to hear from that offer. Um, and yeah, that is where we're at right now. So back to work for me.